Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, I'm going to answer a very important question that I have seen, especially and there are like people keeps on asking me this question that I am a manual tester. What should I do next? This is like a, one of the important questions that has been asked, like most of the time people ask this question. So I'm trying to answer this question in my own way. This is my personal views. So let me tell you. Uh, so let's start the video. All right. So. Uh, the first question that you need to ask is that ask yourself like are you really a good manual tester like so uh let me uh let, let me explain what i mean to that mean by that is that so do you understand all kind of software testing principles uh are you well aware of it uh are you comfortable in writing test scenario test cases and can apply the different black box testing technique do you really understand what are the different types of uh, black book testing available, right? Do you understand boundary value, equivalence partition, decision table, st state transition, these concepts, are you have you implemented it? If you haven't implemented it, uh, means if you have not implemented it, I mean, it means that you are not a good manual tester, right? So uh, another point is that have you mastered the test planning? Because test planning is one of the concept, test planning, designing and execution is a concept or it will take four to five to six years plus means to basically get uh, to basically get to the point where you were you are very much comfortable with while, play, while uh, creating the test planning because people are very bad with estimation, right? In your test planning, you will basically scope out the requirement, how you're going to do that that all the things right related to it these comes under the manual testing part also right so are you have have you mastered these concept or not right so uh this is the question that you need to ask from yourself right first so my point here is that in a very simple manner is that are you a really a good manual tester if you are then only you should do what is uh that what whatever you want to do next, right so if you want to switch from manual to automation I have created a video on it and I will put it down in the description also. Do watch those videos. I have basically step by, I have created step by step methods how you what you need to learn to basically move from manual to automation, right? But before that, uh, if you if you see those that video, the first point is that are you a really a good manual tester? Then only proceed with it. This is my personal point. So uh, what you need to do is that uh, if you are a manual tester, right? What should I do next? So, my according to my uh, point here is that what you can do, uh, you can set up certain goals, right? So, what are the goals can be? Uh, do you want to go to automation? So, if you want to go to automation, what you can do, you can learn about the automation tools. You can start learning the coding. You can start learning the testing tools like to it, like Selenium, Cypress. If you want to go to performance testing, it, uh, which is also comes under the automation testing, right? So that you can do. Now, next thing you can do is that you can shift your career, right? You can shift from QA to business analysis. Lots of people I have seen, like in my past eight years experience, that people switch to BA, BA switch to QA, different kind of stuff that you can do. <clears throat> Similarly, you can switch to DevOps, right? You can learn Puppeteer. It's Puppet. It's pu Puppet basically, not puppet here it's a puppet you can learn puppet tensible docker jenkins kubernetes right kubernetes is not mentioned but yeah you can go with the basically the, the devops cycle uh devops career i mean to say right or you can continue as a manual tester what you can do is that uh, you can get certain certifications like istqb advanced advanced level of the istqb or you can position yourself it means is that you can change to your lead QA where you will have your uh, more into the manager roles. You, you will basically whatever that you have learned as a software manual tester, you can basically uh, give your learnings to your colleagues, juniors, right? You can distribute them. You can help them in estimations, help them in resource planning, right? That you can do by using my go to load by becoming a QA lead, right? Or you can teach. The second point is that you can teach. You can basically mentor them. You can create blogs, videos, anything that you would like to do, right? You can become a subject matter expert into the, a particular project that is going on or concepts related to your organization that you can do, right? 
or you can explore some more text tags like data to for example you can go with the testing a backend especially right you can become an api tester right with the backend also i have seen people who have like working three to four years five years like to with api uh, backend api testing mostly most of it right so that you can do you can learn about the concept of redis kafka how to automate them how this consumer producer problems are there right and how you can automate and help your developers to basically do that so that's thing that you can do right so these are certain points that i have told you like you need to set up a goal where you want to go first if you are a manual tester right you can uh, these are the things that i think that you can do right so now the next point is that networking so why i am telling you is that networking by networking i mean today is that you can attend meetups different kinds of meetups why uh, you are attending meetups because you can learn new concepts how people are doing manually how people are basically uh, doing better manual testing than you you will get to know in meetups right you can connect with your seniors how for example you can connect with a five year a uh, person who is into manual testing or automation testing so that if you want to switch it you can get the details how they have done it right and what are the things that they have learned right so you can connect with yourself so i hope uh, that makes sense it was a simple video about it means if, if i am a manual tester what should i do next that you i believe that these are the steps if you do definitely you will achieve certain uh, uh i mean to say career shift or you can say more next you can go to the next level whatever you're thinking in this case okay uh that is all my thought and this is your promo this is your host promo and i hope you have find any kind of a value in it especially if you are a manual tester uh, you have a, you have uh, get certain kind of a clarity uh, what you can do right so thanks a lot for watching till now and i'll see you in the next video bye